What's up, baby? I'm turning on the street, and I just go to put my foot back in there because I know my truck's not going to shit. Dude, I fucking felt like the front axle was going to fly off my truck. I call him like, motherfuckers. I'm, it was already driving. It drove good yesterday because I drove it from their shop to the job. And let it show. And let it show. It was perfect. Beautiful. Going from there. Yeah, all the way 15 home, minute drive. It was fine. Yeah. All the way home. At, right as I was kind of getting home, kind of felt like a little sketch. And I was like, man. But you took care of it. You slowed it down. You cruised well, it. Well, I had my, my system on. So I was like, maybe I'm just tripping out. And I turned my system down. And, I know. I hate that. And I was, I was cruising. And I was like, hey. You won't even drive your truck up there. We'll drive mine up there. We'll just hop out that hill. That's so fucking hard, man. Huh? Straight up. You'll have to call the UC five O's on us. We can record it. It'll be a fucking viral video. I'll probably go to jail. <laughs> I'm be up. Hey, yeah, once I got on parole, the first thing I was thinking too, I was like, ha ha! Now I get to fight. I have a fighting chance if I get arrested. Because when you're on parole, right, since I was like 13 years old till I was 29, you know, probation is a juvenile straight to adult. And right when I got up a roll, I'm like, ha, huh, now they just can't arrest me and keep me in there. You know what I mean? Because that's what I used to be able to do. Uh, Anything. They'd be like, Joey called me and said he was going to fucking kill me. It doesn't matter if you really said it or not. You stay in there until parole figures out what they want to do with you, bro. You can call a lawyer all you want. You can be your birthday. It can be someone dying. You don't get out at all. But once you get off parole and probation and all that, now they treat you like a normal human being again, and you actually have a fighting sense. Even though you do go to jail before, you yeah. know, they, they say you're innocent until proven guilty, yeah. but you're like, so, uh, why am I going to jail then? If I'm innocent until proven guilty, wait to put these cuffs on, player. Yeah. Why we gotta go get bonded out, what's all that all about? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, how about you prove the case first? Then you come back and put the cuffs on. Don't worry, they do that too, though. It's just, it's just principle, pure. I'm a man of principle. That's a customer yesterday. Pop! I already thought I had a soul that measured it, 73 feet. If you want to do the 50% down and check, car, duh, whoa, off. I'm not giving you a thousand. He literally looks at me and goes, I'm not giving you a thousand dollars down. And I go, Phew. I was like, all right, man, well, then, you know, we ain't gonna really have a deal here. You know what I'm saying? Because, and I, he was like, I was like, you didn't need to worry about me ripping you off for a thousand bucks, but I'm like, I'm not here to rip anybody yeah. off. And he goes, well, then if there's nothing, why can't you just pay for the material? And I go, well, because I'll build you a beautiful fence, but I'm not here to supply your material. Yeah. I said, I'll be out labor if you don't want to pay, but I won't be out labor and materials. Yeah. Now he goes, here's what I do. Shows me, oh, I do commercial indoor. Dinner. I'm like, oh, good for you. And you should know how to build a fence. What you, what'd you call me for? Straight up told him that. Well, you should know how to build a fence in. You built that wall. You built all this framing. Fences are easier than all that. What'd you call me for? Well, you know, I just don't have time and this and that. And I said, awesome. And you've been ripped off before? Me too, man. I said, I've been ripped off by customers for five grand. You know what I mean? Why? Because I trusted him. He fucking going back and forth with me and I told him, nah, man. I was like, I'm just not doing it. I was like, I don't even need your work. I'm like three months booked out. I just saw you said 75 feet. I wanted to help you out. You were going to do the teardown. I told you it'd be a one day job. Like I said, I don't need your work, man. And then I was like, if you want to see my stuff, realistically, go on YouTube. You'll find out what kind of man I am and you'll get to see my work. I was like, realistically, I don't even do this anymore. I said, but the company basically runs itself with my best friend for 10 years and he comes out and knocks shit out and we both get paid. So why not? I'm young, I'm able, so I do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like kind of looking at me, like listening to me, chopping up with him. I'm like, to be honest with you, my teeth cost probably more than your house. I still have said that. <laughs> Because this house wasn't like a big house. You know what I mean? You don't know how much my teeth cost. Yeah, I was like, this isn't no cheap ass girl. I was like, and I ain't gonna lie. I pulled up, I'm in both of my gold chains. I'm in a Mercedes. I'm in gym clothes, like with a no excuses, no breaks. My t-shirt with me on the back. It says beyond blessed yeah. on the front. And I'm sitting there like, look brother, like I'm not here begging for your work. I'm just out here because you told me you wanted a fence. You know what I mean? And in the end, sure enough, he texts me. Okay, Joe, let's get this thing done. You know, because at the, the very last moment, I said, look, man, when you hire someone, you trust them, right? You trust them to know where you live. You trust them to come to your house and do the work. So if you don't trust me, I understand. I said, but don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Straight up. Oh, no, I wasn't doing that. I'm like, oh, you weren't doing that? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. That's why you won't give me $1,000? And I even said $1,000 is pleased to me. What? It's principal.
Look at Joey's truck now. Huh? Go from dirt to, well, I don't know, dirt and clean. See, you put my truck detailed. I got a guy. Yeah? yeah? He's a beast to hook you up too. It look like a brand new fucking truck. Yeah. Brand new. I mean, he gets in the rim, tires, in the wheel wells. He's got his own portable detail shit. Oh, yeah. He'll even, like, you can even do it Monday. He'll come to my house and do it, right? Fucking where's that? I'm down. I'm telling you, yeah. I'll talk to him. Yeah, bro, I'll talk to him right now. His name's T Tim. Okay. Let's show Madla. Let me yeah, come. Yeah. You want to work tomorrow? I'm good. I'll work. Yeah. It's, it's really I got to work. You working with your pops? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know what we got, bro. If you want to work, I can put you to work. I got some stuff over at the house. You're at the house you can do. Right. If you want to make some more money. Sounds good. I'm good. Right, cool. You'll probably get off early, too. It's Saturday. We got 11 to 3. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's or 12 to 3. <laughs> I forgot I have a meet and greet tomorrow. I'm going to be there tomorrow. I wanna go Shit, well, then I can't put you at work, dog. You ain't going to be able to show up. <laughs> you ain't getting up that early. <laughs> <laughs> Just put like a headphone in your ear and have the other one over here. Either. But, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? I'll give you a fucking shotgun this post up. This guy's all about his red flags. I know, I know, it most definitely is. is. Red flag. He was red like that dude. Hey, he'll red flag that hole and then everything will fall out down the street. Hey, <laughs> you're the one that set it up like hey, that. Hey, bro, dude, hey, you, I drove like that my whole life. Bro, we do it. No, he was like, I, so much, I, got it, bro. I got it, I got it, set I got it straight. I drove two pallets of pickets. A pallet no, over no, no, the No strap. No, he's like, I got this. He put the concrete around. All right, cool, I'll let you. He put it. Uh huh. A bag of concrete are not even on on. They the, were on it. No, they were not. This full whips yeah. and drives no, like no, he's no, in a no, NASCAR. No, Somebody, how many times does that happen since you worked for me? <laughs> once. once already. That's once. Twice. That's right? once. Two times or? Once. Oh, the load shifted the other time when your whole ass was driving. The whole load shifted. And I was like, hey, it's it's out. Out. That, that wasn't even tied on. Quit driving crazy. It shouldn't have to be. The amount of weight, it doesn't go nowhere. No, I know, but just like right here. <laughs> You did. I, I, he, we hear about your driving, Joey. My drive is good. I don't haul ass. We had a meeting about it the other day. We're worried about everybody's safety. <laughs> Ocean's involved. I, actually, I, I, hey, I put secret hey, life insurance on everybody. Hey, but we driving, know what not, we're getting into when we get in the car with Stretch. He's just like, you keep saying you're, you're a good driver and so you don't admit it. You drive like NASCAR too. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes. So I have to. You have Chucky on the back of your truck. We know you drive crazy, dog. Oh, I love Chucky. Yeah, no, he's, he's a crazy little fucker. I, I don't like him that much. All right, let me know what's up. Triple S, take care of it. Wait, is that my oatmeal? What the? Ricky, you're about to get fired right now. <laughs> what did I do? You didn't tell me, dude. I didn't know you had it in there. Hey. I thought you already. Don't argue with the boss. I thought you drink it like normal. Usually you already drink it by the time I get there. Oh stop! Now you're lying. <laughs> Usually you have like two or three of them deep before I even show up. Ricky it. is just over there half asleep. <laughs> this to me, drink my oatmeal every time. Just know, guys, I get my oatmeal in, all right? Ricky just doesn't get it most of the time. He's sleeping on my couch. Going through some things. I had to kick him. Get up! It's time to work. Yes, so, baby! What y'all got going on for Halloween? Uh, we're, we're gonna go hit one of the rich neighborhoods. <laughs> we're trying to determine which one we're, so we're trying to determine which one we're going to, too. We got this little uh, church gathering thing today with a friend of mine. He wants me to go to his church and like take my kids. It's called like, uh, Trunk or tree, yeah. and I guess all these y'all heard about it. Yeah, I never heard of it. I think my ladies and take my boy. Okay, you gonna be working or what? Yeah, yeah, I gotta get to it, man. I haven't been here. You can do another spell. Yeah, so I'm getting ready for that, man. Yeah, but we all had to work for somebody at some point. You know what I mean? Like yeah. just to get where you are, and then you just kind of grow from there. But if you didn't excel your your you know job before that you were at and learn everything, then you'd be stuck there just like everybody's still there now. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's crazy. Remember when I started here the first two years, man? Yeah, it's oh, one chair. Yeah, one chair. And then a couple of homies bouncing back and forth. None of them are here. None of them now, are here. You know, it, it all made sense, like reading all those entrepreneur books and stuff like that. It all made sense, man. You don't see it, like anything except the third year and the fourth year for sure. Like, now I got more time than anything else. Yeah. I want to continue with that, you know what I mean? Of course.
30 pounds of jewelry. So 15. 15 pounds of gold and diamonds. <laughs> Just a little. A little today. Just a little something. I got my third chain in there with 11 carats or something. <laughs> Like right when I sit down, I start just being like, yeah. I need to stop myself. I go, I feel like a big old like, I feel like a big old like, I don't even know if I'm this big. Just <laughs> <laughs> a big old. A big old, I don't know, I was gonna say like some kind of like big old gargantuan just sitting on this table. Gargantuan. I don't even know if that's a word. Peace out, see you, I have to break down. I'll be done. I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. 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 Like that shirt, Doc. Well, that's what I'm gonna post on Facebook. Oh, man's in the spirit right now. You should have told me I would have worn my pumpkin shirt. I like Halloween, man. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I love watching. I'm a seasoned season person. I like yeah. Halloween, me Christmas. Too. I love holidays, but I love watching the kids in their costumes. That's what I was man. just telling somebody. I said, it man, I just so love happy. to see my kids all happy. Yes. That's what yeah. I'm doing on Halloween. They go, what do you do for Halloween? I mean, I mean, what better than your kids dress up and get candy? I mean, what? Let's get those wrists first. What are the how's this things, man? I mean, they're good, they don't hurt. Cause I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I learned the last couple times that if I don't wear my wrist wraps, mm -hmm. they instantly start hurting. And I'm stubborn, so I don't pull them out the bag that I have with me and the wrist wraps. But when I do wear the wrist wraps, there's no pain. I can press more weight, good. I can. So Let's I've been wearing yeah. Shall I've been, we? yeah, yeah, I've You got a good it. brain pan yeah, on your head, come on. Sometimes I just don't like the way they look with my outfit, dog. I love you, but I'm just kidding. I got them all blacked out. Now. But I mean, as of right now, they're pretty good. They feel good. I think that last time you got them real good, though, so that's why they're here. Oh, that's it. Ah. No pain, no gain. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Mm. See what you put up with to get that big? <laughs> it's not that bad. That last stomach right there. On your tummy. Oof. Oh. <laughs> you get back to me. God, your legs are getting big, dude. I'm telling you, man. Quads. I'm growing like crazy. Make sure you're stretching. Keep that range of motion, though. Yeah, you know, Doc. That's, that's, I know it's hard. The, yeah. It is. It's really it's just time consuming. You want to yeah. just get right into what you got to get. Pretty soon, he's going to be trying to watch his hair. He's going to be like, oh, it's so really like that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Let's get that neck, so shoulders. That a boy. Good. Seriously. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Doc. Always a pleasure. We'll see you next Friday. Yes, Go sir. have fun for Halloween. You too. Ricky, <laughs> don't have no fun. <laughs> Shout out to my doc, Dr. Fielding. It's a beast. What's up, baby? Let's go. We out here. Bro, we filming? Oh, yeah. For real. Someone's getting hurt. Hopefully not me, too. <laughs> I'm gonna stay over here. Yeah, right? <laughs> nah, I mean, like, injured. <laughs> Let's go weigh myself, Rich. Right. 223.2, right? Your boy is a fucking animal. And I got two more meals left. Look at that thing, Rick. I went this morning at uh, 6 a.m. Saw that? Yeah, I saw it on the Fucking next time, better put the fire. <laughs> With the 100s. With the 6? I thought it was 8. Oh, no, it was 8. <laughs> what the hell? 8. What the hell? I already done two workouts. <laughs> Look at that. Come on for everything they said I couldn't have, Rick. 
everything. I don't give a fuck what anyone has to say. Period. You know what I'm saying? All I care about, coming to the gym, getting this money, going to church on Sundays, being a good dad, and leaving that legacy behind. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about what anybody thinks. I'm gonna still stretch that lat out, see that? It's gonna be a tricep lat stretch. What do you mean? You come in here on my first day. Yeah, I was gonna day. say, we're, oh, no, you're new here, right? Huh? You're new here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, if you talk to yourself, the, the agreement is I film and put Crunch on YouTube and my Instagram. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. I've yeah. known what I've gone through before from other gyms that I've been cool. in. Cool, awesome, yeah. yeah. So, you would say, hey, that guy's a Crunch influencer. He's actually who brings all the members in here. Yeah. So, we're not gonna tell him to stop recording because he works for that? us. That's my man, yeah, I like that. Cool, hey. I was talking to Joey Stacks, a social media influencer that brought all the people in here. Hey, someone was complaining about being in the camera, and I told Joey, and guess what? All you should have did was go and tell them, hey, if you don't like to be in the camera, then get up out behind the lens. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I know you said it. I appreciate you, bud. Okay, so I'll go ahead and give a call. Yeah, please. Okay. That's what you. you said that three times already. Somebody new, I mean, they don't want to be filmed or whatever, but don't come to the fucking gym where there's influencers at. Or the LA Fitness. They know influencers at LA Fitness. They get books somewhere else, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Someone came up to me at Gold's this morning. Yeah, man, I saw your YouTube, man. I saw you walking around. Uh, what was his name? I think his name was Dwayne. He goes, man, I saw your YouTube. At first, I saw you walking around. I was like, man, that's a big dude, you know? And then I see your YouTube a couple days later. On, and I was like, man, that's that big dude. I was talking about it. And then he watched a couple of them. He goes, all I want to know is, does that lady still work for Lowe's? Does she still work for Lowe's? I'm like, yeah, man. I want you to yes. And to tell you the truth, I told him about how much money he spent in Lowe's last year. Real talk, like, those people lost a lot of money in business, you know what I mean? And just to keep that $10 an hour worker on, like, and then they told Stretch, we can't do any more phone notice from Joe, and we can't, and none of us Dude, they can't, even, they, no way. they can't even check him out, bro. They have to call him. The store manager is the only person that I have to talk to when they come to the store. Yeah, so they have to call the store manager to do all my deals for me. And I'm like, we got time like that, just go, dude. It's so annoying. Like, if I went in there to buy something, they'd have to stop, call the manager, come down, check me out, and then that way I don't flip out on nobody. They gotta handle stacks lightly. Handle me with care, motherfucker. Hey, handle me with manners. <laughs> hey, even that dude was like, what the fuck? I couldn't believe a uh, cashier was trying to tell a customer that and they didn't inspire her on the spot. Is it your birthday today? Yes, sir. Hey, happy birthday, bro. Yes, sir. It is my birthday today. Well, by the time the video comes out, it'll be like a week. Probably, yeah. <laughs> no, this one might come out Friday. Friday. So right before your birthday party. Party? Right before. What's up, baby? Let's go. Everybody wish Stretch a happy birthday in the comments. One thing that's about to happen to Crunch. Stacks is about to fucking crunch somebody's fucking head. Crunch. 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 Ah. Those bitches are bound to be 21s now. Don't worry, Phil. That's what's up, man. <laughs> 
What the? F Dude, don't want to be filmed. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't want to be filmed. Because you look like shit. That's how you don't want to be filmed. It's, it's so, listen, this is what it is. Let me tell you real quick. So to be honest, I sent him over because I didn't want to be the person to do it. Basically, because during time time, I'm keeping up so many people in the world, I don't have room for y'all to be on three machines and record at once. You know what I mean? Uh, you, I wish you would have came over. It would have been better. And listen, to me, I was just like, you know what? It's okay. He got his taste of stacks today. <laughs> Realistically, that was I's fault because we were only on one machine. <laughs> and then I hit this machine, then he comes and hits this machine. Fuck it, G. That shit is, you got a camera. That's it, G. I see. I, I, I can go point at six, two, three, nine, on six different machines talking about, like, hey, hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. We're working here. Hey, can you get yeah. There's three of us, there's three machines. It's called a circuit, motherfucker. Keep, keep going. Yeah. You know, like I know. The give stacks a reason to go viral. <laughs> you just gave me a viral video. Stacks, snaps. Crackle pop crunch. Every set is still failure. Wrap that way, your arms should be on fire. That burning is good. Love the burn. There it is. Burn. Burn. The more you burn, the more you grow. The more you burn, the more you grow. I win. I fucking win. I win. Stop. I won. He dropped the weights first. I won. I repeat you, Isaac. Ah! Ah! Oh, you look so rich right now. Stretch, big eye just got done killing some back. As always, crush that shit, destroy biceps. Hit the tries just a little bit, but you know that's for chest day, but just a little touch up on them back arms. Not triceps, back arms. <laughs> Hell yeah. I appreciate everybody who likes, comments, subscribes to the video, man. Everybody who's showing love in all them comment sections, always supporting that Stax Army. Man, I love you guys, man. You guys are the real Stax Army. We appreciate you guys. To the fullest go follow my boy big stretch on ig go follow my boy big eye on ig their names are in the caption if you don't already follow them make sure you go follow me on ig before you follow no nah, i'm just kidding but go follow our pages guys show some love on the pics throw a couple comments on there go check out stacksarmy.com copy some of that stacks army merch or if you go to straightcartel.com make sure you use that code stacks show some love you already know Make sure you turn that post notifications on. What else did I forget, Rick? We got the likes, comments. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the post notifications. I think that's it, guys. 
Until next time, I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you cop that Stacks Army merch. You ain't Stacks Army unless you rockin' that Stacks merch, baby. Let's go.